Hi guys and welcome to this video on how to make your rice water exactly how the Yao women in China make theirs. This recipe was sourced from one of the families in the so-called long hair region. Below I will link a description to everything that you will need for this video and that you will see in this video. So let's get into it. So. The first thing that the Yao women do is wash their rice to make sure that it is clean and then you want to get rid of this so that's what we're going to start with we're going to rinse the rice I've used basmati rice you can use any rice organic rice is the best just rinsing off any sort of dirt or particles that may be left on the rice you want to give it a good good clean and then drain it off now you want to add water again but this time we're going to clean the rice and keep the water that we are cleaning it with so you want to use your tips and the palms of your hand to scrub the rice this is to make sure you're getting all the nutrients and all the vitamins that are in the rice out of them once we have done this we are then going to strain the rice into a pot and we're actually going to chuck away the rice and not keep it unlike many recipes that you see so to get rid of the smell the Yao women then use pomelo pills pomelo pills are very hard to find as it's not something readily available in the supermarket so a good substitute is the peel of an orange so i've gone with one whole orange i've just peeled it and put it straight into the pot with the rice water this is also a great source of vitamin C, adds nutrients and will help with the smell that we all hate that comes from rice water. The next step in this Yao women's rice water recipe is to find tree bran or some kind of root to add to it. This also gives its properties and how they get their hair lovely and long and shiny. So in order to recreate this, I've sourced some ginger root and I've sourced some fleece flower root. Now I found these at my local Chinese herbal shop. You may have to do some research, you can also get it online. I've grinded it as they have in the video and then I'm just gonna add this to my rice water. Now once you have brought this to the boil, you're going to want to separate this into jars to begin the fermentation process. I didn't have one big jar so I just went with four small, four small ones and then you want to just add the peels to each jar or all to the one jar and add the roots in it with it as well. This will allow it to not smell over time. So we are going to leave this for one month which is what the Yao women do. So you now want to store it away somewhere nice and dry and you can keep it for a week to a month up to you when you want to use it so mine looks like dark like theirs did so i know i've done something right this is one i left for a week and i use mine once a week when i wash my hair so as you can see they're just dipping the hair in it and that's the best way to use it thank you for watching